Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nanalisa Dawn Clan Wars Edition. This is Shadow Fury 333 with Google Frog. Hi, Google Frog here. Yeah. And we're going to be bringing you the Mean Machine versus Genetic Benefactor Conspiracy Clan Wars match for August 1st. First game is going to be on Bandit Plains. And GPC is over to the south, Mean Machine's over to the north. Fortunately, we had a bit of a snag earlier on, so the sponge started out in the center with Snuggle Base when they really wanted to start in the southeast, but now everything looks like it's been sorted, so let's begin. Okay, the first thing is the end from north, from in, yeah, and forever. all ground from GVC. Cloaky, Cloaky, and Spider. That's an odd choice. And I can kind of, I mean, I can see Cloaky on this map, but I'm a little bit surprised that it's so uniformly so. Actually, yeah, I'm kind of surprised there are no air players in the, on the GBC side. That is unusual for both this map and this size of play. I'm not really surprised. It's oh, very yeah, confusing as to yeah. I suppose, yeah. Forever. I still don't have a handle on it. Oh, really? Like how to play air in small teams games? Well, for 2v2, the 2v2 tournament, you'd expect that a lot, but there is a lot. And I have really no idea why. Hmm. I have some idea, but you'd think it'd be really powerful, but it's not quite. The, yeah. Um, they get scouting from the spider, which is great. Yeah, I remember, I noticed that not a lot of two, I mean, well, it's more Sackdoth usually notices that there aren't a lot of TV2 tournaments that have air being played, although I know when you play it with Aquanim, Aquanim's always the one going for air, not you. You tend to go for the ground play. And... Well, GBC appears to be at least taking a fair amount of territory in the meantime. We're putting a decent amount of pressure, so they should be able to take territory at least. It won't hopefully bite them too much in the butt and they don't have any way of getting around quickly. I mean, this map isn't that big, so I don't think air is going to be that crucial, but still. Get a few phoenixes here well, or there. Well, it'll be a worry if there's a lot of swifts. Yeah, that too, actually. Swifts yes. will shut down raiding eventually. Yeah, so oh, just... a very good thing down the bottom left, killing three bandits. Mm-hmm, that works well. Just thinking, yeah, because there's no light vehicles, and scorchers work quite nicely against swifts, but glaives don't really do anything. Actually, Cloakie is kind of hard-pressed to deal with them, I think. I'm not mistaken. A few gremlins are okay. But yeah, yeah. there's a problem with air. Yeah, a few gremlins can be fine, Actually, but too many is just no. Come back. Is dagger. Oh, we just switch to hover and go dagger. dagger. Kills. Yeah, but I don't think people are ever going to go vehicle on this map. It's not the flattest map. That's the one thing. I'd see. So it's actually cool you can try and figure out what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, what's going on with your... Sorry, there's something going really weird with your audio. Is that okay? Yeah, it's sort of this weird buzzing noise that keeps happening. Might be a network thing, not sure. Anyway, maybe you, you know it's not entirely sure. Sorry, this is kind of weird. Because I keep hearing this weird electronic buzzing noise. I don't know why. Wait, are you speaking? Is it happening now? Yeah, it just sort of happens when you're not speaking. No, now I'm speaking. Ah, not speaking, okay. Okay, have a No, it's still, you're, you keep cutting out, what the heck? I'm almost supposed to be better for this than Skype. Well, I turned my mic, probably not me. No, I'm thinking it might be the, the actual, like the connection. I don't know, I guess you might need to turn up your the internet connection. I'm just thinking to trying to figure out what to do to deal with it. Like turn up your quality or turn down the audio per packet or turn up audio per packet, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. 
Hmm. I can How's that? What? Okay. I've turned it up. Is it still messing up? Or wait, no. No, how is it now? It's a bit better, I guess. Okay, now is that okay? Yeah, it seems fine. Okay, I'll leave it there. Okay, sounds good. Sorry about that. I mean, we had the game pause, so we might as well deal with some technical problems while we had the chance. Anyway. Yep. So they're back. Into it. Yeah, and. Still. And then, yeah, so. North side, the mean machines are. How much actually they have right now? They are. Actually, well, it's a little bit ahead. Very slightly ahead. And it looks like GBC can't really get the pressure, and those Swifts are providing too much of a problem. They're running very strong interference. And Burp looks pretty... Looks pretty set and trying to go down and actually dealing with everything Snuggle Base is throwing. And the Sponge does not seem to be there to help. Ivory King does not seem to be there to help yet. Playing very defensively, both of them. So I'm a little underconfident how that's going to work. Their economies are very even so far. That's true, there was a bit of reclaim early on, but yeah, at this point it's fairly... Lots of expanding from the sponge. With more glaives from Burp on the right. That could be a worry. Well, that's the thing, is that the sponge is playing kind of defensively, but yeah, now Burp should be able to destroy at least one of those metal extractors, possibly get some damage in further in. Like, this is a very is lane play. Space, <clears throat> yeah, but we're seeing very lane-focused uh, no, play, which is um, not working. Burp has moved off to deal with greater things. <laughs> okay, so there, because I thought it looked like you know Burp was just trying to deal with the sponge and forever trying to deal with Snuggle Base, like everything is going off in lanes rather than working as teams. But now, yeah, well, now the Burp's joining up. Will lead you to it. Look at where Clon is stuck. Clon is just stuck up that side. That's true. Clon's gonna have a really hard time actually dealing with that. I mean, Clone basically has to reason. touch Ivory King. He's doing quite well there. Well, I mean, he has to he has to go through Ivory King. He can't just easily get into the center and help out getting rid of Snuggle Base, even though Snuggle Base is pushing very far forward and being extremely aggressive. Pretty much taking, I think, most of the metal for QBC side. Yeah, Clone and Snuggle Base both have about five metal extractors. Sponge only has four, but shared metal, so hey, that works. But yeah, the Snuggle Base is just being extremely aggressive. And the sponge is trapped, so GBC has good control of the center right now. Clone taking... Okay, so Mean Machine basically has the edges. GBC has the center. Now the question is, will GBC be able to cut from the center out to the sides, or will they get flanked? And it or looks like... will they use the economy advantage? There's some yeah. players coming in the bottom for a raid. That could be quite devastating. It's just windmills and nexus. Yeah, sponge coming in for the defense, but that's not going to be enough. Not in time. That should be able to get rid of most of Snuggle Base's base, actually. Ah, uh, no, it won't kill his base, but it will do some quite a bit of damage. Well, it'll, it'll get rid of a lot of the wind generators. Not deadly. Those wind generators being destroyed is going to be a bit of a blow. A bit of one, but they've, they've dealt with it. It was a reasonable trade. Oh, and a glaive actually falls off the hill and floats into the water. <laughs> Scouting glaive. Just, it'll just well, stay there for now. Better than that. Better than the oh wow, really. Snuggle, Base, Snuggle Base got their revenge though, that's for sure. Forever's basically out, that's massive blow for yeah, Mean Machines great. right out of the gate. Forever still has a that's few the thing things. That's the see. You yeah. think an airplay would be really good, but they just can't really defend themselves. And that was a good demonstration of that, although, I mean, Forever still has a worker, and of course they still have a team, so it's not completely out, but yeah, that was... That was damaging. That is going to be very confidence boosting for the GBC side. At this point, they should... As long as they can... I think, well, let's see. Clone's force isn't too strong. And Burp has set up a massive wall. In Stardust and Lotus, like... It's a meat grinder. Can't no, Nothing can really get through there too easily yet. But the center uh, has Stardust been... Stardust and Stinger. It's quite... 
quite um, compact. He needs to spread out a lot to have more influence in the game. That's true, yeah. Burp is just basically stopping this side from being pushed, but the center is center is open. Well, not even that. He's got Rocco coming in now. Yeah, so it's not even going to work anymore. I mean, in a few minutes, it's just going to be... Or not even a few minutes, in a few seconds. Like, once this warrior's dead, the Stardust is dead. And once the Stardust is dead, that uh, another, side's broken. Another Glaive Raid coming in on the left with Clun trying to intercept. Oh no, and the very well-placed warrior, but dying all the same. Well, they yeah. should be able to clean this up. Well, still a fair amount of damage being dealt, though it's all inside of Mean's side, so at least they can reclaim it. Looking at the economies, at the moment... At the moment GBC's actually, ahead. Oh, sorry, GBC's behind. Or, um, yeah, Mean has a much larger economy at the moment. Mostly it looks like thanks to Clone's forward metal extractors. Although Forever's pushing quite a lot in the center too, however, I don't... I don't know, there's a lot of damage that can be dealt. Basically, it's kind of coming down to when GBC wants to attack. Like, the sooner GBC attacks, the sooner they'll be able to deal with the economy. And they have been attacking it, so that's that's the thing to do. Attack, deal with the economy, and then... Ah, on the right, the down. has gone down to the Rockos. Yep. Commander that's down, fine. although, this is, this is comm sharing though, right? So it's only like... One and a half medal loss for, for each team member because of that. Well, yes, it isn't as devastating as earlier. Yeah. But as an organized team, they, they would be able to deal with that. Yeah, I mean, either way, it's just that does mean that yes, Forever isn't. Sorry, Burp isn't particularly weaker than Cloner Forever right now. It does slow down the um, the lane base slippery slope. Yeah, so the right side is basically. Or eastern side has been destroyed. Pretty much anything GBC can go through that whenever they like it, and they are they would like to go through it right now. Sponge wanted to push that center oh, is I stalemated. Push Rocco's up that hill. I wouldn't push Rocco's up that hill. Let's see, Not there's against. a Lotus, there's Glaive. Oh, yeah, and of course, all the Glaives. Though it looks like it's seeming Glaive support coming just... in, sort of. Hmm, yeah, the Sponge oh, is gonna have a hard time pushing factory. here. Hmm? There's a shield factory in the middle. Forever. Okay, and so Forever has the pushed the center a bit harder. Are they rebuilding? No, they're just re they're reclaiming their base, not rebuilding anything. So that's yeah, that's definitely good for keeping the center. Yeah, Snuggle base has out. lost a lot of momentum. So right now, GBC is their momentum has gone in the center. The western side is becoming a meat grinder. That's going in Mean's favor, and the eastern side, however, has fallen to GBC, but still kind of stalemated. I think if they go around the side, but they go, it'll be very hard to push that hill. I don't think they should push the hill, I think they should go straight around the side. Like instead of pushing the yeah, hill, just so. go all the way around and then up the back. Because that's not oh, going to well defend it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Because that way, they're gonna, the, the defender's not really in position to deal with that. Nothing is, Nothing really is. And Burp has not prepared for that possibility at all. Those back mechs are extremely vulnerable. Although, that is such a long way around to walk, or a slow warrior walking over there could probably deal with any waves. That's a fair point. Forever's put in effective in the middle with his shield switch. Yeah, wow, yeah, Snuggle Base has been pushed back. So right now, Mean is really, it's kind of starting to pull ahead. Still in the meat grinder stage, still yeah, sort of in the front lines, but yeah, they're... The left is, um, the left side is stabilized reasonably in favor of Mean. It's quite close still. Yeah, and the center is down. A good ship ball. The center's open. But looks like Mina's going to be taking it. And the eastern side... Well, they are going to push up the hill. That's what they're going for. Well, GBC has done double heavy tank. Just they... completed two heavy tank factories. One on the left, one on the right. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Ivory King started out with that, but... Oh, no, no. That was last game. <laughs> the, the game we got no, messed no, up he... for technical problems. Aye. Was... Right. Yeah, sorry. He... This one was spiders. I built both of them. Okay, so we have... Possibly more forces for pushing up the hill. I mean, there's not much in the way of glaives, so it's not like it's the hardest thing, but yeah, I don't know why. I guess Burp doesn't want to be caught in the choke point going up the metal extractors. That's probably what they're expecting. And, wow, those Rockos can't hit uphill. How is it overshooting the Zeus? That was weird. Can you see that? The Rockos are just constantly overshooting those Zeus. That was wrong behavior, I'm sure. Weird. Yeah, that... Although they could just around a bit while going down the hill. That's a fair point. It just seems weird that the Zeus is ducking under the rockets. 
Didn't realize I shot that high. And now double shield. We're both clone and forever pushing down very strongly on the side. And it looks like Snuggle Buddies cannot get... According to Chad, they can't get their sharpshooter to do anything. So Mean looks in a very uh, strong position to take the first game. GBC on the right. They have uh, a Reaper up. Oh, it probably dies yep. to Zeus though. The well, second Reaper is up while on the left. It's stunned. And the, one of the Zeus is actually stunning itself. But yeah, that Reaper is still going to die. And those Zeus are not getting hit. What the heck? That is really weird. Did that's They're... just what they can do. Rocco's are quite inaccurate. I suppose. It just seems weird. The, the, the rock is looking like it's passing through tiny little holes in the collision box. We're just barely missing. It's kind of surprising. The ground yeah. is quite bumpy. The ground is quite bumpy, so they can shoot over. Oh, right. That's a fair point. It's kind of hard to see from the default camera angle. So at this point... What the heck? No. This point... So the right is very messy. Yeah, that's the only part the that's left. really contested. Mean has the, the left. The on the left got away alive. But Mean totally has the left. They have the center. If they take the right, it's gonna be back to the beginning where GBC is trying to struggle to get back in. Have okay. Is there any escalation going on? I don't see any Strider hubs or anything because that's where. That's the only place. There I are think reapers they go. coming out. Well, yeah, there are reapers. That's true. GBC I meant for the north. Loves their reapers. But the mean side is mean machine going to go for striders, so they're going to just continue to go for large numbers of units. Burp has spammed out some constructors to reclaim the right side, which is really what the sponge had to do as well. Yeah, that, there's just there's a conjurer for the sponge. They have one there, but it's idle. What the heck? The sponge can't really deal with that right now. And his and his commander is idle as well. Oh yeah, what the heck? That's that is not going to work out for Sponge very well at all. Maybe when they see the constructor, they go, "Oh, oh the yeah, right, I can reclaim too." Against outlaw. Yeah, that's generally unwise. So at this point, oh, look at I think base. game one's going to go to main. Coming in. Yeah, and on the left. This is not not work. No, this is not good. Burp also going for Ravens. So we're going to be seeing probably a, a closeout with Ravens smashing everything up. They have fairly even economy still. Reapers are quite efficient. Geo balls are tough to deal with, but I think it's still pretty even. It's it is even, but I think Mean is start. I mean, mean has the territory advantage. Right? It's a strong territory advantage. Ah, I mean, Burp is cutting into the center. Like the center is very strongly theirs. The right side is the only part the that GBC has, to has anything. There. The sponge has to go left, I think. And kill off that hill, which Burp has just got. Yeah, this cover. this hill right here. I'm, I don't think. Yes. I don't know that the sponge is even aware that that exists. I'm actually quite doubtful. Uh, yeah, they don't even know it working. exists. They know there's one defensive tower. They're gonna check it though. They're just about to check it. So we'll see if they actually deal with that. Oh wow, that's amazing actually. The radar is just. Yeah, it's not just barely. All of those units. It's very close. They can see one defender, that's about it. Other than that, they got nothing. But at this point... Let's see, GBC is... GBC is kind of stabilizing, I think. So, the south side... Or, sorry, the south uh, center... The Ravens are just about to be revealed. When the Ravens are revealed, GBC is going to have to spend a bit on AA just to stop themselves from being killed. Yeah, but Burp is taking and the momentum the expansion. might just kill them. Burp has the expansion, so at least there's that. Oh. Wait, I just realized. That Forever's shield board watching middle the stream. Just... Who is? Oh, I think Forever is on the stream. <laughs> I just realized. I know it says Forever Sense in the stream user list, but. Oh well. I'm not sure well, that's making much of a difference. Hmm? Hopefully it's on mute. It is. Hopefully, yeah. I. I might actually want to restart the stream then, just for the delay. Anyway, where was so I? To GBC, they have five Reapers, but just not doing them much good. Yeah, I mean, at this point, five Reapers is fairly powerful, but it's just where are they going to put of them? Reapers so much down. Yeah, so that's stuck in all the hills thanks to the hammers. Like that, or hammers the and racketeers. Yeah. 
the rogues. Oh, right, yeah, that too. Yeah, so everything's basically going in the bot's rogues, favor. It, this map is quite soft. So, I'm a bit surprised that, yeah, they probably, they should, I would figure they'd know that, so I'm a bit surprised they went for the heavy tanks as a result. I mean, that's why I'm not surprised that vehicles weren't gone for, I just was a little surprised that it was all... GBC no loves their Reapers. A little too much, apparently. I mean, that's, that's probably uh, going to yeah. cause them to lose at this point. I mean, what can they do and besides this, get um, hit? is coming in just to make it even harder to deal with all these different fronts of attack for GPC. Yeah, Mean Machine is just all over this. I mean, even with that well, right side have, falling um, now... They've well, cleaned up the falling. shield ball with, with some snipers. Well, it's opened it up. Bad. They've opened it up. I'm not sure the, that they've the totally cleaned gone. it. Most of the units are gone. True. I mean, it's it's definitely routing, but I don't think it's dead. It's just no, dealing the, a lot the of the damage. Themselves are still quite powerful. Yeah. Although at this point, the sponge has gotten into Burp's base, so the eastern side is falling down, and they've gone to the back. There we go. Finally, getting those back mexes. That's a big pro. That's a that that's wasn't, one hit. That wasn't that great. Overall, like no. That was a and lot even of an loss. A that was an overall loss, but if they keep the pressure up, that should at least help with the economy stabilizing. The military's actually in GBC's favor slightly. Very slightly, but that might be the... It's the really up to reclaim at this point. Who can... Their, their economies are so close that whoever can get a, one of these reclaimed fields that they've been spending the last 10 minutes making yeah, will have a massive advantage. The sponge... Sorry. 3,000. 3,000 on the left. Yeah, 3,000 on the right. 5,000 on the right. So I think if the sponge no, takes... No, 5,000. Well, it's 3,000 just in the sponge's own territory. There is... Well, yeah, once yeah, again, where, overall where 5,000. He just... He has to just... Is he spamming some constructors? No. He has to send no, no, not 10 at all. The sponge, constructors, 20 constructors. The sponge is building no constructors. They're just building rockers and glaives. He could easily have 30,000 reclaim, and that would be massive. You know, share some to his allies on the, to help the left. Yeah, that would probably... That would be a really good idea. It's just not happening. Mean has bought out a crave. So their shield ball push has turned his bit into a crave push. A what push? Which is a crab. Yeah. Oh, crab, yeah, right. I tend to call them crabs. Well, it's got an E yes. on the end. That's true, that's true. It would be crab. I've never used that term before. Well, it's turned into a bit of that a crab. That crab is really, um, really shutting them down. All they've got is a few stardust and stingers. No real army on the left at all. Yeah, it's all been worn down from constant skirmishes. I mean, the eastern side is the only side where GBC has anything to their name. The middle and middle and west is going to be. That's if there's anywhere that Mean can push the advantages there. Ah, so the sponge has got five constructors, so not quite okay. as all out as he needs to go, but he he's doing something. That's that's good then. At least they're relatively even. I mean, although Ivory King's actually accessing at this point. What is Ivory King doing? Oh, they're switching over to Strider. So Ivory King's gone for the Strider hub. Like a queuing up Dante there. Not so sure how that will help. Yeah, that seems like a very autopilot really, thing to really. do. Especially in this map where I something think Strider, like Scorpion. Strider switching is still a bit unexplored, like really unexplored, probably. Yeah. And Dante is a good default. It's a if decent default. Sure to do. Although I think at this point with all the shield, well, the shields are kind of falling, but I think Scorpion would be the better counter given the shield ball. Because then he can stun it out. I'm not sure. If, I've seen. Actually, I saw. I think I saw Gotti use a, a scorpion very well recently, so it can be done. But yeah. it just seems quite niche. Or you have to be Gotti. Well, I don't think most people have really explored Striders at all, just because they are so late game. And they, don't, they aren't going to come up much. I mean, at this point, they are, because they're 20 minutes in, and. I mean, we're dealing with quite a strong economy from all players. Oh, and infantry, infiltrate has gone off. Stunning that Stinger. So okay, that... Very rare move. I think might be what breaks the center at this point. Because that Dante's going to be another minute or so out. That's five minutes out. That Dante's not even being assisted. Ivory King's... Well, he could assist it. He could assist it, bring that down to about five minutes. Yeah. But that's way too long. I mean, long. a minute, but it still has the walking time. No, and the middle's fallen. The sponge has got something on the right, taking the reclaim, but... Doesn't enough. matter. Doesn't matter. Mean Machine takes game one. 
after that center breaks, so they just lost all morale. So GBC throws in the towel. We'll have game two. Not sure what map game two is going to be on. Man, I have my suspicions. I presume something flat and vehicle for GBC to run ravages all over. That's, yeah, you know, something like that. That would make sense. That's very, very likely. Yep. Hmm. Or okay. a sneaky trick which they were doing. Oh, yeah, right, the one that they were practicing. That's a good point. Alright, so I'm gonna be turning this, changing the stream off for a sec just to change delay, so stay tuned, it'll be up in about two or three minutes.